Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl. Alrighty, hello my beautiful Leos. My name is Simply Velka and I'm going to be doing your bonus weekly or daily tarot reading today depending on how you receive the message. Be sure to rely on your intuition when it comes to these messages because they're just here for some food for thought, perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life. I also do your weekly tarot reading for your zodiac sign Leo, which is a much longer version, more detailed, which I'll leave a link to for you to check out above. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy this reading, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments comments below which cards resonate with you be sure to let me know as well uh, how you enjoy these readings right and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe Leo because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way Leo so I'm going to be pulling just some cards to see what uh, messages your spirit guides what spirit just in general has to say for you today Leo uh, and so yeah I'm going to be pulling just a couple more cards cards and then we will get right into your reading. All right, Leo, so let's get into this reading for you. We have for your beginning spread, right? We have your Queen of Swords, your Two of Wands, your Five of Pentacles, Leo, as well as your Nine of Pentacles. So this is, for these starting cards, Leo, this is telling me a beginning storyline of an individual who kind of uh feels a little bit disappointed in something that they've tried to do right what do i mean by this falcon i'll explain uh let's start with this five of pentacles card coming in for you with this five of pentacles leo this is a card of where you look at the individual themselves right this is someone who is down in the dumps i usually call this my anxiety well one of my anxiety cards uh this is usually someone who is just yeah, they're just in their feelings. They're just kind of feeling hurt in something, right? This could be a situation of where you're feeling out passage or where you feel almost as if, Leo, that you don't belong in terms of something, right? And then, continuing on with this, we have the Three of Wands here. This lets me know where it's like you started going down, like it's like you started trying to do something. Starting, you were starting to try to do something, rather, Leo, and with this setup here it lets me know that like whatever it is that you tried to do wasn't didn't really quite work out all right because with the three of wands this is like you kind of started receiving signs and so whether you're starting to receive signs from a person where it's just like maybe you're understanding like the true feelings perhaps leo or if this is a situation with like a project for example maybe you're starting to get signs that something was starting to go belly up for you and because i say this because it's all in the name of nine of pentacles right this is all about your self-sustaining so really heavily i feel like for a lot of you leos there's some type of um you're starting to see the cracks in something and realizing something's a little bit less stable than you realized, whether it's your job, especially with jobs, um, I feel, or just anything that brings forth any type of stability or financial um, into your life because of this Nine of Pentacles all being about... Uh, being self-sufficient right um, being able to take care of yourself and just being content with where you are at what it is that you are doing all right and then when all this happened right so i do feel like this has already happened for you leo where it's like something disappointed you we'll say leo and then now you're in this queen of swords energy where you're kind of like again kind of in your feelings but then it's almost like because this situation didn't work out right because you discovered this person's true intentions because you realized that this job just isn't working out or this project um you're starting to see things kind of fall apart it's almost like for you some of you leos you have adopted a little bit of a defeated attitude with this where it's just like well since this didn't work out i might as well not even bother trying with this anymore i might as well not uh, continue trying to find love. I might as well not bother trying to become self-employed because every single time it just blows up in my face, right? That's the energy you're probably at right now, uh, Leo. And it sucks, right? Obviously, it's, you guys will know that I don't really quite agree with that thought process, right? That um, 
there's no point in you trying anymore. And uh, the tarot cards kind of agree with me, right? Uh, let's get into these clarifying cards. We have the moon card coming in for you. Queen of Swords following you, Leo. The Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Wands following you. So two cards following you, uh, Leo. This is some. Uh, this is coming in as a message though, where it's just like, keep trying whatever it is that you were um, kind of feeling defeated about, right? Because it's almost like with this setup, where it's like, while well, you're in this energy right now, Leo, of where you feel like giving up, you are just feeling a little bit defeated with something and just kind of like you're checked out, right? Um, I see you, if you were to start, if you were to continue down this path or continue feeding energy into this situation, I really do get the sense, Leo, that with this Three of Wands here, you would really, uh, if you were to continue persevering, well, yes, it may not feel too pleasant, and I'm not going to lie to you that, um, if you were to continue persevering with whatever it is you're doing, Leo, that you're going to instantly start feeling the satisfaction or whatever. I mean, I'm going to be honest here, right? It's probably going to deal with a little bit more struggles um, because you continue on with this Queen of Wands energy. It lets me know that the storyline here kind of uh, continues, right? I just realized I was considering this the Three of Wands and not the Two of Wands, but the message is still the same, right? Even still, like with the Two, <laughs> two of Wands, Leo, this is all just about like your planning. So something essentially it's still the same of plans, just not really quite working out for you. So with this setup here, I see you kind of if you were to continue on in this notion, this is where these two major arcana play such a pivotal role in your journey, uh, Leo. Because with the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon card, this is one of those things where the Moon always talks about stuff being revealed to you. Right, Leo? Things coming to light. And now this could be anxiety-inducing, but what comes to light, it actually uncovers or unveils the Wheel of Fortune for you, where the Wheel of Fortune, especially in the upright, is a card of just things starting to st work out for you. So it's quite very much so the very opposite of what the energy that you are currently going through, Leo. So really, there's just like this constant message here, just like persevering because you're going to be taken by surprise quite a bit, Leo, by what kind of uncovers itself. Um, as you continue down this path that you're not feeling very sure about. So overall, really good messages, Leo, for you. Um, I do want to close out y'all's reading with a, uh, let's see, Leo, what decks do we want to use for, I want to do like an Oracle deck. So let's do uh, your, let's end this reading on a Moon Oracle deck to see what final messages we can get for you, Leo. I can't believe I was calling uh, that one card two of, uh, three of wands the entire time, Leo. I apologize on that, but I do promise you the messages are still the same. The overall message is still the same for that. If you don't believe me, honey, you can just look up the meanings of the cards, right? Uh, but, Leo, let's close out your reading. I don't have my glasses on, that's why. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing that I'm an intuitive reader, honey. Uh, so yeah, full moon in Gemini for you. The answers you need are coming. Now, Leo, can we just talk about this for a moment? Can we appreciate like how uh, beautiful this and fitting this card is for you, right? This literally this is why I love doing Oracle cards. This literally is like the card that talks about what I was saying, where it's like, persevere through this, you work through this, the answers you need are coming as you go through these struggles a little bit longer, because the answers you need are coming, right? This is what we were talking about. This is what I was hinting at. The answers you need are coming is this, Leo. Come on now. Like, ugh, I love it when cards just line themselves up in such a beautiful way, especially when I can name them off properly before you, Leo. But uh, yeah, such a beautiful message. I'm gonna close this out for you now though, Leo. If you did enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, remember. Uh, let me know in the comments below and also check out your weekly Zodiac reading where I go in much more in depth with just your readings in general each week, Leo. I love you so much and thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I'm rooting on, I'm rooting you, Honey, I'm rooting for you <laughs> behind the scenes, Leo. You got this. Keep pushing through and honey, you're going to be just so happy with what comes through. I promise you. Bye, Leo.